All right, can you guys see this? I actually bought a fake and counterfeit camera, not on purpose. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you guys about my mistake I made here and how it happened. What's up everybody, Andre, Andre Reese. Dot biz. Not only do I do taxes, I do a whole bunch of other stuff. All right, guys. As I mentioned, I actually bought, <laughs> can you guys see it right here? I actually bought this fake and uh, counterfeit camera. Man, can you guys see that there? It, it, it's, uh, it's actually, the name brand on it is Canon, as you can see on top, but the whole entire camera is uh, plastic. It's a 35 millimeter, it's an old school camera. Something like this would typically be, you know, uh, a metal body camera. You know, it's got the uh, flash that attaches to it. You know, in and, and, and reality, this camera actually works. You can take pictures with it. It takes uh, 35 millimeter film, you know, but um, I bought it as part of, and I'll tell you guys the story behind it. I bought uh, a, an online uh, lot um, for an estate sale, you know, probably a year ago. And uh, there was a number of items that I was after trying to get. And then, of course, when you buy a lot and there's certain items you're trying to get, there's always the stuff that's kind of left over. You guys can see the, the actual uh, 35 millimeter film that it takes. It actually works, you know, it, it takes batteries and everything. So anyway, I buy this uh, lot. I go out to uh, Fremont to go pick it up. And uh, when you pick up the items, you know, they're, they're, it's one of those things where you sometimes, uh, you know, they, they make disclosures about, you know, stuff is not tested or where you take your risk, but I didn't pay very much for the stuff. There's actually some items that I was after in the lot and uh, these, the camera and a bunch of other cameras and some miscellaneous items like some clocks and stuff came included. And so when I got uh, the items, uh, the lot home, I went through and processed it. There was a whole bunch of stuff in there that I wouldn't typically, you know, uh, sell all the time, but I set it aside. Like one, one example, I had this uh, Sony camera in this. These are old school eight millimeter, um, you know, cameras, you know, the, the high eight. And in this time, this was a was an incredible badass camera. And then also there was this camera that was included as well. When I looked in the bag, because it actually came with this carrying case. I looked in the bag on the top, I saw Canon. I was like, woo, that's old school, the way that the, the styling is, you know, all that. And I kind of set it inside of a tote and I spent, it spent there for probably about a, a year, year and a half before I even got a chance to get to it. So I finally got to the tote, I started going through the items, listing them on eBay. And I found the camera and I pulled it out and I was like, oh man, this is an incredible camera. But I, something just didn't feel right about it. So I looked up the camera. It's actually a, um, it's a Canon Q8200. And when you find a camera like this that's complete with the flash, you know, this is actually covered in plastic. You see the, the lens is a 35 millimeter. Um, it's got a, 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 a the, the lens here that's, you know, it's supposed to be SLR, but it doesn't come off, you know, and it's adjustable and it's got the, so it goes one to, uh, it's a 50 millimeter lens is what it is. It had, you know, the automatic adjustments here. It, it just didn't feel right. When I looked it up online for this camera, the comps that were coming back on eBay were about 25 and 30 bucks. And I was like, man, that doesn't make any sense. So I actually went, and Googled and I found a guy on YouTube that actually bought one of these cameras at a thrift store. He paid like five bucks for it. And uh, he was like, yeah, these are, these cameras are Fugazi's. You know, they were sold, you know, a bunch of years ago, maybe 20, 30 plus years ago, probably like 30, 40 years ago. And uh, you know, they were, they were designed to kind of wait like um, a, a camera. But I mean, it's obvious that they're fake. So I, 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 I'm trying to figure and rack my brain, why would somebody actually buy a camera like this? You know, like I said, the flash works, it takes batteries, it's got an adjustment on it for, you know, wide angle telephoto, you guys can kind of see that there. And then also it's got the, um, the um, it's got the 50 millimeter lens, but it's not, it's not adjustable. It doesn't come off the camera. It's got a, a viewfinder up here on top, you know, so why would somebody buy a camera like this is what I kind of tried to rack my brain and figure out. So I didn't, like I said, I didn't pay much for it. I probably, if you take the price I paid for the entire lot and divide the number of items I got, I probably paid less than a dollar for this, you know, but um, so it, it's really no money that's even lost at all. But uh, in the end, you know, why would somebody buy something like this? And I, and I think maybe back when these cameras were really popular, 
Um, just like consumerism as it is today, it's always important to try to have, you know, the biggest, baddest, and best thing that you can. So if you have a camera that's something like this, and from a distance it looks like a real solid, legitimate camera, you're definitely going to have a certain amount of, you know, status in your community for sure if you guys are kind of walking around there with this. But you want to make sure you don't let anybody actually use the camera because if they do in the end, they're going to realize, wow, this thing is a fugazi. And I'll, and I'll, and I'll show you guys real quick. You know, it's starting to fall apart now. But I'll, I'll show you inside the camera. And this is what I kind of saw in the YouTube video. I'll just do a, a quick tear apart. Because I'm just going to throw it in the trash. You know, and so you can kind of see here on top. You know, I'll break that. There's actually inside of there, this is really heavy. There's a weight that's in there, you know? And so it's um, it's it's probably uh, lead, you know, most likely. This is this is, this thing probably weighs about three or four pounds. So you get some artificial weight there. This is where the, the flash is. Like I said, it actually works. You put some batteries in it. And then, you know, in, in general, camera technology is really not that complex. So you can really have almost a box and some film and as long as you can make a shutter, you can you know take a photograph. We probably did that as if you were a, a young kid. But it's got the 35 millimeter drive inside, you know. But if you take the bottom of the camera and you pull it apart, close my eyes here so I don't hurt myself, get anything in my eye. You can kind of see on the bottom here of the camera. I'll close my eyes again so I don't get any shrapnel or anything from breaking it out. You guys see that there? That is, you can kind of hear it make a noise right now. That is another uh, weight here that is inside the camera, you know? And so it's kind of secured in there, I can't get it out, but you can kind of see that there's some basic junk that's on the inside of there. Now I know that, you know, after 30, you know, probably plus years, 40 years, they're making a lot better counterfeit items now. But in the end, you know, somebody bought this camera either because they wanted to perpetrate or they thought they were buying a real camera, who knows? But uh, somehow the guy at this estate sale, and like I said, he had a whole bunch of other cameras that were all legitimate that I bought. You know, they were part of a lot, like this Sony Handycam. I think I'm gonna actually keep this thing as kind of a relic of the past. There was one point where I did work in consumer electronics, good guys in Circuit City and McDuff Electronics and all them kind of guys. I sold stuff like this. You know, so it definitely brings back a little bit of nostalgia, you know, and it actually works. But uh, in the end, you know, the camera is a fake. And uh, you guys got to definitely be careful when you guys are out there um, selling your items online. You never want to sell any fake items. And, and I think the way, and I'm not, not an attorney, but I've looked up things online before. It's not necessarily against the law, you know, and this is not a blanket thing, what I've seen online. It's not against the law necessarily to buy fakes or counterfeits, but it is against the law to uh, actually uh, sell fakes or counterfeits, you know, so... Somebody bought this, this is their camera, they used it most likely because it had film in it. And uh, maybe it was a novelty gift, maybe it was a, a, a laugh gag type of thing or whatever. But um, I would never sell anything like this online. I'm gonna take and dispose of this item. I figured I would do a video real quick and you know, kind of show you guys what uh, I've got here. You know, I kind of tore it apart, you know, let you guys see what's going on. I'm not gonna sell it. I wouldn't recommend anybody out there sell anything that is uh, counterfeit. So kind of in closing guys, when you guys are out there, you know, buying items, be extra careful. And there was a point where I did sell a lot of DVDs. I would run across, you know, DVDs that were counterfeit. I would take those things and throw them in the trash. So if you guys run across anything ever that you guys find that's counterfeit, don't risk your account. Don't risk your um, yourself by trying to sell something that could be considered a counterfeit. Throw that stuff in the trash. Try to use as much diligence as you can in the field when you're actually trying to buy stuff. But sometimes you can't. You may have bought stuff online, you try to get it home, you find out you got duped, you know, whatever it is. Just chalk it up as a loss. Maybe make a YouTube video about it and uh, let other people know what's going on and then uh, throw that stuff in the trash, you know. So that's it, guys. You know, that's my, uh, you know, uh, I think this is probably the most blaring example of a counterfeit item that I've ever bought in my life, you know. And uh, it's a camera, you know, I'm, I don't even want to even keep it at all. It's just, it's really like, almost like a plastic toy. It's gonna go in the trash, but I want to at least show you guys here what we're kind of looking at when it comes to uh, fugazis, as they say. You know, take care, guys. Uh, be safe, and I hope you guys are enjoying the holidays out there. Peace. Hey guys, thanks for sticking with me all the way to the end of this video. Visit me directly at andrereese.biz. Four things to do: like, follow, subscribe, hit that bell. Stay safe, guys. Lift the glass to freedom. Stay woke and don't get TikTok. Take care. I will see you guys in the next video.